Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my replay of Pokemon Blue Randomized. So, I did a little training off screen, it didn't take very long, with the power of emulation of course, fast forwarding. So I got Rattata and Doduo level 9 and Electabuzz level 10. Rattata um, learned Quick Attack, which is always good. I actually have a very easy time training Doduo, especially because I got a bunch of executors and glooms, uh, which were, are weaker to, to bird types, and of course I got Peck, so it was super easy. Rotata actually didn't, I didn't have a harder time, in any case, to, to level them up. So what about this guy? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, no, I haven't uh, gotten any more money. So yeah, I have to like start fighting some trainers. Okay, I'm gonna skip this battle because I'm, now I'm gonna face my rival again. It's a Dragonite? Wow. This ship would be impossible to capture with regular Pokeballs. That's gonna be a disadvantage at first. Then when I start buying Ultra Balls and such, then I can like think about capturing more powerful Pokemon or evolutions for that matter. Yeah, here it is. Yep, they did get stronger. Oh, he's got two. He's got an Eevee and obviously the Venonats. So we got same level. It will be a little bit um, of an even battle. Level 10 already. Let, let's uh, switch it to Doduo since he's got an advantage. He's got Peck only, but that's gonna be powerful enough. As you can see. Yeah, complete luck. So I got enough for buying a Pokeball, but like I said, I have to actually attempt to capture easier Pokemon, like um, like the, the, the likes of Rattata or Doduo, and not Evolutions. Evolutions are good for training and gaining levels, That you, when, when you need to train off screen, that would be cool, I mean, I guess that's the, the specific use for, for fighting evolutions like that. Yeah, let's fight a Starmie. I would like a, a Starmie or Staryu first uh, for, for, uh, for, for having a, a wider Pokemon for that matter. I'm training Dodo a little bit. Let's see, what else can I get? Potentially in this place. Vileplum. Another Pokemon weaker, which is weak to, to bird attacks. Still not enough to level up. Kingler. More water Pokemon at my disposal. But we're still talking about an evolution, so it's a little complicated. Okay. We got the Thrill Demon level 10. Switch to Electabuzz. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and let's continue our journey like normal. Um, so I guess we are going to the Viridian Forest. Yeah, this way we have the... You know, one of the trees that you can potentially cut. But there is a, a potion in it. I remember that very well. So I would like, you know, uh, this video to be focused entirely on uh, crossing the um, Viridian Forest entirely, ideally. And then next episode we are gonna start collecting badges by fighting Brock. 
all the like training that I need um, to do um, like prior to fighting Brock for example which I, I tend to level up a lot to level 18, 20 or something like that before fighting Brock and then I don't do much um, leveling up off screen all the rest of the leveling up I do it from fighting trainers more than just doing it with wild Pokemon Spiri. Yeah, like I said, I've never been a huge fan of nicknaming my Pokemon. Oh, I forgot this one. Show you a tutorial. Which I'm not interested in. Obviously, you cannot enter the Brilliant City Gym. We all know who the leader is, obviously, but I guess we can take care of that later on. Catch Pokemon, expand your collection. Yeah, I know, but again, this is a randomizer. I will be dealing with a lot of evolutions that I'm unable to catch or capture because uh, the, the type of Pokeball that I have access to right now is not very good. It's kind of, you know, one of the many risks we have to deal with. So, Viridian Forest. Yes, I got one actually. Natural Maze, which is very easy to, to go through anyway. We get Pokemon before attempting capture. When healthy, they may escape. Even when they are weaker, they also escape because they are huge, they have a high level or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I know there are items around here and I want to take the opportunity to fight and level up my Pokemon some more. I got a Pokeball. I mean, if I get something interesting and capturable, <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt to to get that other Pokemon. And also, I need to fight all these trainers to get money to buy more Pokeballs. I don't want to... I don't like to avoid battles in general playing these games. I mean, every opportunity to fight somebody to level up, I take it. Finally! First encounter. A Paras. Right, it's at a level 3 though. And maybe with this attack I will easily kill him. That's the problem of leveling up so much. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get him. I'll get him. I have only one Pokeball, so it's either this or nothing. And I will be the only one that I will be able to capture. But at least I'm expanding my collection a little bit more. Even though the Pokemon types, I usually like to go for one grass, one electric, one water, one bird. I mean, I'm not like getting all the types that I would like, personally. But I'm still getting something out of this. Let's start. And also, the trainer Pokemon would be random. That would be an interesting experience as well. Yeah, it's a bug catcher, but he's gonna match up. <laughs> That's funny. I'm still waiting for my electric attacks for Electabuzz. Charmander. No, let's continue playing or, or using an Electabuzz in this case. Fire Pokemon are interesting to, to get as well. I mean, that's why I wanted the Arcanine, but obviously it, it would, would have been a, a... I mean, I knew it was going to be hard to, to catch. Alright, let's continue using Electabuzz until he levels up to level 11.
Okay, now shit is getting serious. He's gonna do very little damage. So, most likely, I will be losing at least Electabuzz. And the other Pokémon have very normal attacks as well, that's a little bit problematic. I don't have a wider Pokémon, see, that's why it's necessary to have a wider Pokémon for enemies like this. And he keeps increasing his defense, which would make it even tougher. Peck. Uh, I'm wondering if Peck actually would be of use at all? I think so. No, it's not at all good. I mean, what am I... I don't know. Why, why did he think it was a good idea? I'll, I'll fast forward because this battle is would, would take forever and a half. And I lost Doduo. That's okay. I mean... But that's gonna be a risk. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, by the way. To reviving to revive a uh, Doduo. Kangas can. Shit. Alright, let, let's go for Rattata. That's why it's important to have Pokemon of different types. Okay, that common punch is really doing damage. Hmm, I might win, but... Are you serious? Well, it's all up to Electabuzz, I guess. I mean, I'm probably I'm gonna win this one. There's still one more Pokemon after this, but I'm getting experience. I mean, I mean, I can lose several of these battles against trainers. Slow, bro. It's an evolution. I still have uh, enough PP. Don't disable my quick attack, otherwise I'll, I'll be doomed. Of course. Um. In the meantime, we can decrease the defense. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Please don't do it again. Okay. I can use a potion, like I said. Okay. Maybe I will die here. No, I didn't die. Okay, I won the battle. At least that's allowing Electabuzz to get even more experience, that's okay. But yeah, that was pretty dangerous. A wheezing. Mm, I shouldn't level up Electabuzz anymore. Well, actually, I should. And maybe in the, in the later battles I will train pretty much the other two guys. So I just make sure Electabuzz is getting strong enough so he can rest for a while. That's my strat. Oh, okay, I didn't want to leave town so fast. Nope, 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 my bad. Alright. Yeah, I mean, using a randomizer like this is not really much of an advantage, if you ask me. I wouldn't say it's a complete disadvantage either, but I, I, I'm trying to ex like explain myself here a little bit. Uh, it, we're gambling, Metaball. Okay, that that's a good Pokemon to to train with. Even though he uses hard and all the time. Okay, another Executor. It, it's probably the Pokémon that we, we have seen the most in, in all these places. Don't get me asleep. 
Wow, that took forever. Uh, most likely I will have to return to the Pokemon Center after the next trainer battle. There are like three or four guys in here, right? In, in Brilliant Forest. Did I fight this guy? Yes, I did. I remember being, there being a Pokemon, oh, sorry, a Pokeball up there. I wish I had Pokeballs, otherwise, I mean, I, I would get a Pokemon like this. It would be very useful. Wow. And not enough to level up, wow. I thought there was a Pokeball up there. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, I've got an antidote. Yeah, I fought this guy already. Oh, I completely forgot about this Pokedex evaluation thing. Hmm. I remember, like, in Pokemon Yellow, they added an extra trainer in this section, which is pretty much empty. An Ivysaur. Hmm. Interesting, but... I wouldn't capture him. I think I'll be able to defeat him, actually, with Rattata. Nice, finally level 11. Okay, we're gonna keep using Rattata until he gets fainted and we are gonna move on to Doduo. Here's something else. Another potion. Which I could use more of, but... Yeah, I'm aware of that. Okay, there is one more trainer here. But we got another encounter before it. A Pikachu. We got the electric Pokemon already, so I don't think it's necessary to, to get another one. What's a hurry? I'm in no hurry. Only one. A hunter. Oh my god, okay, now I am, might be in trouble because... I got normal attacks, and the normal attacks don't work on, on ghosts. That's problematic. If Peck doesn't work, I'll be in trouble. I will have to catch another Pokemon and train him. But I need to catch like a good Pokemon. Okay, Peck works. It's like the only thing that can save me now, but obviously attacks like this will complicate things. But I'm still attacking, at least. Okay, got it. I got lucky there. Not gonna lie. Got super lucky. I don't know if I'm really good at this. I just think that I got luck. Okay, let's train some more. Radicate. Okay, I should be able to win this one. I guess. Yeah, let's train... All three guys, and I actually want to level them, level them up until level 18. That, I remember that was like my limit every time I, I got to to Brock's gym. So let's kill some time. I mean, I was actually end the video when I crossed the Viridian Forest, which is right there, the exit. No, I, don't I didn't want to leave. Shit, there are no encounters? Yeah, fast forward is a bit too much, but... No Pokemon shows up. What the hell? Actually, let's use this side so we don't get to the exit. Yeah, Raticate could be an evolution and everything, but it's not really a Pokemon that gives you so much uh, experience points. Wisin again. Oh, I got poisoned. Oh, he fainted, okay. And Electabuzz, yeah, he can get me some more extra exp experience.
That's my way of leveling up, by the way, when I am off screen. Level 13. A Jolteon. Tempting. I if I get, for example, a random encounter with, with a Vaporeon, that one would be, like, definitely a must get. Level 14. We're getting, getting very close to what I like or what I want. But don't worry, I'm just trying to level up these guys as much as possible. Then I'm going to heal at Pewter City before saving the game and do the rest of the leveling up off screen. So This is just in the meantime. Let, let's get to level 18. Oh, sorry, 15 at least. Oh, I ran out of... Um, I don't think Paras can actually do something. He, he's got Scratch. It's not a bad attack. But my level is very, very low. And I'm still going to win this. So we're going to share the points between Electabuzz and Paras. And it's enough for Paras to get to level 4. Yeah, I need to train Paras some more. Maybe I'll do it off screen. So we can get actually four Pokemon. Then we're gonna make some replacements. Like it happens, like in, in, in it happened in the TV show. It can I can do it on in the game. Really, I don't really do that. Like if, if I get a Pokemon, it will remain with me for the rest of the game. But actually, I, I should make like changes as I progress and exchange and have like a starting team and then re make some replacements. Uh, along the way. I think it's a good idea, uh, all things considered. Alright guys, I think that's uh, gonna do it for today's episode. I'm gonna do some heavy, heavy level up, including Paras. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all Pokemon level uh, at level 18, near 20, something like that. So I am fully prepared to face Brock and of course the uh, following uh, trainers uh, on the way to the cave, which I completely forgot the name of it. Shit, it's been a while. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. See you next time.